hi everyone my book family how's it going i hope you're doing fantastic i'm doing great by the grace of goddess and all that is mighty and powerful and uh, happy november happy november we are very very close to christmas kranza and all those jolly holidays that people celebrate around the world so i'm not sure what that means for you guys but for me, it just means that it is time to panic, right? Because we are a month and a few weeks away for, from Christmas. And that means I have to start worrying about gifts to buy for my children, my family members, my friends, myself, bae, and um, it's anxiety, right? <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you're doing fantastic. So stay tuned because... I need to talk to you about my plans and my books that I will be reading for the month of November. All right, Jumbo Caribou, welcome to my channel. My name is Chilanda and this is Library Without Borders. Y'all know that when you have children, so I have four children for you guys who have been with me you you know that and uh, my oldest is nine my uh, second is eight and my third just turned seven today November 4th so whoever's sharing her day happy birthday to y'all yeah it's her birthday she turned seven and I'm so happy so grateful I don't have big plans for November I've been wanting to do vlogs but every time I see people's vlogs it always involves them going shopping, going to a bookstore, or they have some type of fun events. And I mean, my life is pretty regular, you know, the life of a mom of four children who works. And I'm not sure whenever I want to do vlogs, what, you know, what can make them that interesting. So anyways. I do hope to at least have one or two this month of November, maybe in preparation for the holidays. Um, oh, by the way, y'all, did you see my hair? Y'all have never seen me with a wig, right? And I am not in my element. I have some cornrows, they're getting old. I'm trying to like keep them for as long as I can before I do it, so I needed to look presentable, so hence the wig, but you know, it's not terrible. So anyways, for today's uh, video, as I mentioned, I wanted to share the books I will be reading for the month of November. Now, the month of October, I read one, two, three, four, five, six. But those six books were really thick. So I did not finish my TBR for the month of October. So we will have some of the books from the month of October and I'm gonna bring them onto my November TBR. But at the same time, I'm thinking I'm gonna pick maybe four more books, blindly choose them, because I still have my books that were wrapped here. Right? So I wanna blindly choose the books and then have a whole TBR for November. So, so far, I'm listening to Iron Flame. That was the book that I needed to read for October, didn't get to it. And what I need to say is that I, it's interesting because Fourth Wing, I read it. I, I physically read it and Iron Flame, I'm listening to it. But I must admit that I'm a little bit, uh, what is it? I feel like I've been influenced in my feelings for the book because everyone who read the second installment in the series had a lot of like mixed reviews, you know? and remembering those you know comments about the book i feel like it's affecting my enjoyment of the book but like i said i'm gonna finish it because i'm the queen of not dnfing book i don't dnf books even if i am struggling through it i do not dnf it but what i do is that i've decided that if i didn't enjoy it i'll just unhaul it eventually but i will finish the book so i'm currently listening to this and i am reading this physically i'm not advanced in the book but um it's a bit slow but i know it's interesting so i'm gonna read it um so we have these two books that are already on my tbr for november and then you guys y'all know my new obsession <laughs> 
my new obsession it's this series this is the last installment in this um, in the Lazar family saga and oh my god I didn't even want to blindly choose be well like I needed to have this book like I didn't uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I just needed to have this book for this month okay so just know okay <laughs> so this is gonna be also part of my November TBR. And this was also part of the month of October. Didn't get to it, but it looks like these books, I'm gonna get through them real quick. I'm hoping. So I'm sure I'm gonna get to it this month of November. So, so far we have four books that I'll be reading for November. And then what I did, I brought three of my um, wrapped books at the book club um, meeting that I had with my book, club my book club ladies. It was my turn to choose a book. So I bought um, three of these books that I had already wrapped and then I'm like, okay, let's choose a book. So everybody like chose, I think it was number five. I have a little video, but, and then uh, it happened to be this one because I can't remember what these books are. When I wrapped them, I, I can't remember. So here's a fantasy book that I will be reading for the month of November. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So technically, I need three more to make it eight, but we'll go for four. Why not? You know, why not? So I have my little jar here with the remainder of the books here. Number one. So my daughter had written this. I think it's number three. I think it's three. I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna unwrap it. There's three. You can see it right there. Okay, it's three. So I'm just gonna put it here for now until I've cho chosen all four books. One, two, three. So there's four left. So next, number 10. So there you go, number 10. There, we have 10 here. Number 10 there. And then two more. Really, you guys should do one more. <laughs> I should do one more, but eight. Let's see, number eight. <laughs> That's my daughter's <laughs> writing. <gasps> She's eight, so there's number eight. Da da. Number eight. And we have between six and fifteen. Huh. Fifteen. There you go. 15 is this little book. I don't know what it is, but we're going to discover. By the way, you guys, have you started taking out your November decorations? Have you guys seen those videos that are circulating online where you see like this, this lady, she's like throwing all her fall decorations and taking out her um, Christmas decorations? Sis, isn't it early in a bit? It's too early you know what I mean like when do you even start decorating for Christmas because I think I will start at the end of November the end of November I think it's it makes sense that's just me so let's open up our books there beautiful books let's go okay the house girl, Tara Conklin. There you go. Lena Sparrow is an ambitious young lawyer working on a historic class action suit seeking reparations for the descendants of American slaves. Josephine is a 17 year old house slave who tends to the mistress of a Virginia tobacco firm, an aspiring artist named Lou Ann Bell. Alternating between antebellum Virginia and modern day, in modern day New York, the house girl is a searing tale of art, history, love, and secrets that intertwines the stories of two remarkable women. So, I mean, yeah. What I'm trying to say is that these books, I bought them because the stories was interesting. It's my genre, so I will always kind of appreciate the books, you know? So, I, I like it. I I I'm happy with the choice. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Let's see. I like this idea of blindly choosing my TV. I might just do it for December. Daughter of a daughter of a queen. 
by Sarah Bird. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys, I feel like I've read these books. I've already shared the content with you guys, but just a little excerpt. Though born into bondage on a miserable tobacco farm in Little Dixie, Missouri, Kathy Williams was never allowed to consider herself a slave. According to her mother, she was she was a captive bound by her noble noble warrior blood to escape the enemy. Her means of deliverance is Union General Philip Henry <coughs> Smushama Sheridan, the outcast of West Point, who takes the raw boned, prideful young woman into service. At war's end, having tasted freedom, Kathy refuses to return to servitude and makes the monumental decision to disguise herself as a man and join the army's legendary Buffalo Soldiers. Woo! And we're in for a journey, for a ride, for an adventure. I like this. I like the sound of this. Okay, next. The theme seems to be something's daughter. Her daughter's mother. Hey. This was like, I feel like it was a cover by the story, yeah, but the cover by. Mm -hmm. She befriended the one woman she was never supposed to meet. Now she's the key sus suspect in her disappearance. Her daughter's mother by Daniela Petrova. I'll tell you more about it once I get to it. Oh, it does match my nails. Love it. And then finally, 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 let's see, let's see. Ah, finally. A book by an African author. Behold the Dreamers, a novel by Inbolo Mbue. Now this book was also, I believe, recommended by D. Roxel. So, let's see. Jan De Jonga, a Cameroonian immigrant living in Harlem, has come to the United States to provide a better life for himself, his wife, Nanny, and their six-year-old son. In the fall of 2007, Jan De can hardly believe his luck when he lands a job as a chauffeur for Clark Edwards, a senior executive at Lemon Brothers. Clark demands punctuality, discretion, and loyalty, and Jan De is eager to please. Clark's wife, Cindy, even offers Nanny temporary work at the Edwards' summer home in the Hamptons. With these opportunities, Jende and Nanny can at last gain a foothold in America and imagine a brighter future. However, the world of great power and privilege conceals troubling secrets, and soon Jende and Nanny notice cracks in their employer's facades. So, there you have it. So... Let's see. Lord. Thank God I started reading at least two of them. So. <laughs> it's only November 4th. Okay. Oh my God. This spiral looks so tall. Jeez. Why? Okay. So there you have it. Okay. Let me turn them over. Ta-da. Now look at this diverse collection of books. Ooh. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, you guys, so there you have it, all the books I want to read for the month of November. And hopefully, I will get a vlog out of these books as well. I know the month of November, it might be, I think it's like men November, mustache November. There might be some prompts there. And maybe if I see a prompt that I want to, you know, follow, maybe I will. But I'm one of those where I, I can't really... Maybe next year, I'll make a plan of getting into more of these reading prompts that people do make. But for now, I just like to do my own thing. All right? I like to do my own thing. So, there. Anyways, you guys, that's it. That's all I have for you for this video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.